No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency and also a coaching business where I help you guys start your own social media agency, get your first clients and scale it so that you can live life on your own terms. And in the previous video, I already discussed some sales tactics and like how to overcome objections. And in this video, I just want to give you flat out like the number one best sales technique to actually close more uh, deals and get more clients and for this I do need to give you guys a bit of a backstory and uh, that is back to when I just started with my agency um, I literally the very first time I scheduled a call uh, this was with an Upwork client and what he was he was basically a, a realtor like an estate agent and he developed his own app um, where other realtors could basically, you know, put up their offers and basically find buyers and sellers, um, you know, for the real estate that they're trying to sell. And um, I basically scheduled a call with this person. He was based in the US, I am based in the Netherlands. So there was a time difference where, you know, that made that call uh, be like 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon, which means that I had all day leading up to that call. And then for him, that would be seven hours earlier. So that means that would be um, like 10 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Okay, so um, all day leading up to this call, I was extremely nervous, okay? I uh, I wasn't hungry. I felt like I needed to go to the toilet like three, four times. Um, you know, I, I didn't really know what to do. I couldn't focus on other things. I was literally like a zombie leading up to that call, okay? Then, uh, like, literally, I was looking at the clock and it was like, it was 4 p.m. Let's say this call was at 5, it was 4 p.m. And I was just thinking to myself, okay, well, the, the countdown begins now, you know, this is it. Um, I've got one hour till till this all goes down. And uh, I just kept checking the clock. It was uh, you know, 10 past four, 15 minutes to go, quarter past four, 45 minutes to go. And I was just hoping uh, that this client would either message me saying he can't make it or just forget about the call and then I would plan on not saying nothing either and at least you know I give it a bit of effort you know I offered uh, to call this guy and if he doesn't show it wasn't my fault that was like uh, what I thought of it and um, it was quarter to five and you know 5 p.m. was the call so I was just waiting um, check my email no notification that this client uh, was not going to show the call was on Skype, so check Skype, he wasn't online yet, so I was half hoping he wouldn't show, half hoping he would, you know, it was one of them, I uh, printed out my sales script that I got, um, I was reading Jordan Belfort's book, The Way of the Wolf, um, basically, you know, used that book to create a script, cheesiest, most, uh, like, I call it Americanized, like, the very salesy, um, like, masculine type of sales script I had in front of me, um, it was one of them where I was cold but sweating at the same time, it, like just an awful feeling and then it was 5pm and like nothing happened, I was just waiting for this guy to, to show up and then one minute past five he messaged me on Skype, it, like the, they saw like the, glee, the green um, like, little circle behind his profile photo meaning he was online and then on Skype he messaged me saying hey Josh are you ready? And then I clicked on the Skype, you know, uh, I clicked on call, called the guy on Skype, and then we had a, um, I, I had a video call, I had video on, he didn't, he had audio on, and it was quite a casual conversation. And I remember the guy said, uh, listen, you know, you, sound, you seem like a cool guy, um, let's just, um, you know, let, let's just not decide right now, um, and then give me a few days, and then I'll get back to you. And he even said, um, you know, that he was good at sales. I, I try. I said to him, I, I gave him like a sort of like standard sales sentence. Um, I can't even remember what it was. I think it was something like, um, let's agree upon a price and then move forward from there. Uh, you know, does that seem fair enough? And then he started laughing. He said, uh, tell you what, if we do actually work together, I'll teach you sales. And like, literally, I just... I went beetroot, I was embarrassed, I didn't know what to do, like I didn't know whether to follow up with this guy or just leave it, in the end I left it, I never actually ended up working with this guy, I still follow him on Instagram to this day, he actually put, put, puts up a lot of um, like motivational sales um, like st stories up, so I like to watch them, and it just reminds you of back to that time, and the reason why 
I was so nervous. And the reason why I felt so bad about having this call is because deep down, I didn't actually believe in what I was selling. I didn't actually believe in my service. I wasn't sure if it was a good service or not because I'd never actually done it before. Prior to this, I had a few like video videography clients. Um, I had uh, like I had a social media management client, but never actually a Facebook ads client, and I really did not know what to do. I was hoping that as soon as I got the clients on, that you know I would try and figure it out. I watched a I think it was like a video from Gerard Adams where he was interviewing some guy. Um, about videography and he basically said that he took on every client and then as soon as he took on the client he figured out how to actually get results for this client and that was the mindset that I was going into this conversation and like I said I was nervous I didn't know what to do and the reason for that was because I didn't really believe in what I was uh, selling and the same goes for coaching when I first uh, like basically got my first few clients um, and I, I finally scaled up my agency to six figures um, I, at the time I was actually still working with Bradley Riley and you know we really you know we really hit the ground running and um, we had the structure in place everything was fine and then Bradley mentioned you know you should actually offer coaching he said you know you're, you're, you're knowledgeable on social media marketing you know exactly what to do um, you know I can tell that you're you know you're improving in your sales techniques and you know how to close clients so he said why don't you not offer uh, coaching for social media marketing so I said you know that sounds like a good idea at the time he was doing it as well and earning quite a lot of uh, you know good money with it so I thought okay you know I'll look into it I'll um, I like way back when I just started out, I also purchased Influencer Ignited from Iman Gaji, where he basically explains, you know, how to basically turn your personal brand into like this coaching machine where you basically earn money from your personal brand. So I went back through those modules and I decided, yeah, let's actually go into, um, you know, offering coaching for, um, I think it was like a hundred euros an hour, which looking back is nothing at all. But at the time I was like, wow, like a hundred euros an hour. Like, do they think people are going to pay for this? Like, do they think people are going to uh, be able to afford 100 euros an hour and then also get value out of it and not, you know, feel scammed out of their money after the end of the call? And, like, people were, like, I got a lot of messages on Instagram DM from people saying, you know, um, can you help me out? You know, can you, can you, I've got a few questions about social media, you know, do you mind hopping on a call? Do you offer coaching? Do you have a course? And I used to, I remember I used to message Bradley saying, you know, this guy is asking if he wants, you know, if I can hop on a call, what should I say? And Bradley used to tell me like, just ask him, you know, ask him if he's uh, interested in a coaching call. And I never used to actually, you know, go through with it. Like it took me a while to actually like take on that first coaching call. I used to just give value out for free. I just said, listen, no call needed. This is what you need to do. And then I just gave the value out for free because I was not necessarily scared of getting on that call, but I just did not want to. Uh, get someone to pay me for an hour of my time. I didn't value my time, but I also didn't think that they would get the value out of it. And looking back, like it was because I wasn't convinced that my that I could provide the value and that the information that I could provide was valuable enough to get the, that uh, person to pay me. So on both a B2B level as a B2C level, at the time, I wasn't confident in, in, in my service and that is why I felt bad on calls, okay? Now, I blamed, at the time, I blamed this on being an introvert, which I still am, you know, I'm still a very introverted person, which means that I basically, I get more energy from working on my own than I do from working in big crowds, okay? But it wasn't actually me being an introvert, it was just because I wasn't confident in my service. And when you fast forward to now, like I am doing everything in my power to actually get those clients on a call. Like I follow up them every single day of the week. I, I literally, like if I can find their number somewhere, I will ring them up if I've got, you know, if I've had a conversation with them and they said, let's call. I will message them on Skype, on Facebook, on Instagram. I will send them an email. I'll add them on LinkedIn and send them a message on LinkedIn as well. I will do everything I can to actually get on that call. And it's not because I'm now better at sales, but it's because I now believe in the service that I'm providing. I know that I could literally change someone's life by setting up those ads and setting up, um, you know, basically lead generation ads or sales ads for, you know, whatever clients we actually get. And I know that our service is worth a thousand a month. When, when you think back to when um, I just started the coaching, I was hesitant to offer 100 for an hour and now I'm offering, you know, 1,000, 1,500. We've even got a client that is 10K a month for Facebook ads. And the reason why I'm confident in, you know, basically pitching that uh, that number or the, the reason why I'm confident in, you know, basically 
pitching those people on the sales and on the Facebook ads is because I believe in that service and I know that I can get them a return on investments and I know that if you know they charge me 10k I can get them 50k back or even 100k okay and that is like the main takeaway point from all of this is believe in your service and if you don't wholeheartedly believe in your service then you can watch all the sales videos in the world you can do all the courses in the world you can take as much coaching as you want but until you fix your service you will never wholeheartedly believe in your service and you won't actually be good at sales okay same goes for the coaching now you know i i am constantly pitching my coaching i'm constantly saying to you guys you know if you're interested in basically changing your life then you know enroll into my coaching program because i know that i change lives you know i literally like i think 90 percent of everyone that has done my coaching apart from maybe one or two that didn't put in the work you know as soon as they put in the work the people that did put in the work they got results and there's people that have quit their jobs there's people that are now in six figures you know because of my coaching program and that is why i am so confident when people come to me and ask me for help that the coaching will actually help them and change their life okay so main takeaway point if you are not confident in your sales, if you don't feel comfortable hopping on a sales call, fix your service because that, that will change your entire uh, mentality about the sales because if you know that your service will change lives, if you know that your service will get them a good result, then you'll be much more confident in those sales calls and you'll notice that you'll close more deals because of it because you're no longer afraid to you know, pitch, you know, whatever number you want, whatever figure you want for that service. You're no longer, um, you know, afraid to basically ask those questions that you need to know to find out if you can get them a return on investments. And you'll also no longer be afraid to say no to clients that aren't right fit because you know that your service is good and that more clients will come and that you're just one client away from hitting that next milestone or next income goal that you have. Okay, so I hope you got something out of this. I hope you enjoy like the story mode with the information. Uh, leave this video with a thumbs up if you did and comment down below what you'd like to see from my channel next. I've already mentioned it before, but like I said, guys, I have a coaching program where I basically teach you guys on how to get your first clients, how to start your agency and how to scale it in such a way that you can live life on your own terms. And if you enroll in the coaching, you'll get access to me via WhatsApp. You'll get access to the WhatsApp mastermind group, access to the group course every single Sunday, and also access to my lifestyle design mastery course. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. If you're unsure or if you're on the fence about it, you can also schedule a free call with either me or someone on my team. No strings attached, just literally to see if we are a right fit for each other. With that said, I am gonna wrap up this video. Like I said, subscribe to the channel for more. Leave with a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.